welcome to Sword of Stars classes. Today we will be solving ISI MSQ 2018 the economics portion. See question number 4. It is given that there are two consumers. They consume one private good X and a public good G. If G1 is the total contribution of the first consumer to the public good and G2 is the total con contribution of the second individual to the public good then G is the total amount of the public good being supplied in the economy and the utility function of the higher individual is given as Xi into G. Can see that the utility of the ith individual depends on the consumption of the private good of the ith individual and the consumption of the public good by both the ith individual and the jth individual. Moreover, it is given that the price of the private good is P which is more than 0 and the income of each consumer is M more than 0. So let us see the budget constraint of both the individuals. Say the ith individual, we take out the budget constraint as P into Xi plus Gi is less than equal to M. Now we consider that the budget equation, equation is binding and hence we get Pxi plus Gi equal to M. What we need to do is that we need to maximize the utility function of the ith individual subject constraint to this budget equation keeping in mind that g equal to g1 plus g2. So let's do that. We will first optimize for the first individual. So maximize u1 x1 comma g equal to x1 into g1 plus g2 subject to px1 plus g1 equal to m. So let us form the Lagrangian multiplied equation L equal to x1 g1 plus x1 g2 plus lambda. See that lambda here this is the Lagrangian multiplier and it is since it is given a positive sign we take this entire thing to the left hand and uh, to the right hand side and write it as m minus px1 minus g1. Our choice variables are x1 and g1. There is g2 also but since we are optimizing for the first individual he has no uh, say in how much the second individual will consume the public good and hence the only choice variables available to us are x1 and g1. So the first order conditions are del L by del X1 which is we are partially differentiating L with respect to X1. We get G1 plus G2 minus lambda P equal to 0 and del L by del G1 wherein we are partially differentiating L with respect to G1 we get X1 minus lambda equal to 0. On simultaneously solving these two equations, we get G1 plus G2 by X1 equal to P. So G1 plus G2 equal to P X1. On partially differentiating L with respect to lambda, we get that M minus P X1 minus G1 is equal to 0. So M minus substituting this value of px1 over here we get that g1 plus g2 minus g1 equal to 0. On solving this we get that m minus 2 g1 equal to g2. Similarly optimizing this same thing for the second individual we get m minus 2 g2 equal to g1 this is your homework that you will be doing on your own. On simultaneously solving both these equations, what we will get is that G1 equal to G2 equal to M by 3. This is given by our second option. So, B. Now, let us go back to our next question. A consumer has a stock X of infinitely durable consumption goods. She decides the consumption of this stock over an infinite time horizon. Her utility function 
in period t is u t equal to log of c t where c t is a consumption in period t t equal to 0 1 2 till infinity let delta be the discount factor the consumer wishes to maximize the present value of her consumption over her infinite time horizon then the consum consumption in period t will be given by and then we have the four options so let us see how this is to be done The budget equation that is available to us is C naught plus dot 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 plus C T plus dot 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 equal to X. Why? Because this is the stock available to us and these are the consumption in each time period. So, let us take this entire equation in terms of the time period T. So, we can write it as C T by 1 minus delta t to the power t plus c t 1 minus delta to the power t minus 1 plus dot 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 plus c t plus so we have transformed all these values to the present value and All these values we will be now cons transferring to the future value. So 1 minus delta plus ct 1 minus delta whole square plus dot 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 equal to x. So ct 1 minus delta t we get 1 plus 1 minus delta plus dot 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 plus 1 minus delta t minus 1 plus ct. 1 plus 1 minus delta does the same thing. So, what we get is 1 minus 1 minus delta to the power t by 1 minus 1 plus delta plus ct 1 by minus 1 plus delta equal to x. So we can write it as C T 1 minus delta to the power T 1 minus 1 minus delta to the power T by delta plus C T delta equal to X. This is an infinite series and we know in case of an infinite series the summation is 1 by 1 minus R. Here R is 1 minus delta hence we write it in this way. And since this is just a summation of GP series of a finite time series, we write it in this manner 1 minus r to the power t by 1 minus r. So here we get this. So if we take ct as common, we will be getting 1 minus 1 minus delta to the power t plus 1 minus delta to the power t by delta into 1 minus delta to the power t equal to x these two will cancel each other out and we will be left with ct equal to x into delta 1 minus delta to the power t so this is our second option b thank you hope this was helpful to you for other such videos please visit our youtube channel